Hey, what's up guys, Dan here from DG Tech, and as you can tell, I'm big into tech. I'm DG Tech, tech's kind of my thing. And tech's also my thing at school. I use an iPad Pro 9.7 inch in the classroom. And here's some of the apps and accessories I use with it to get the most out of it. To keep my iPad Pro 9.7 inch safe, I use Apple's official smart cover. It's a magnetic folio style cover. And just as a side note, you can't actually use any of the older versions on it because they switched the direction of the magnets on the new one and it doesn't work. It's not the cheapest option, but I really like it and it's the best that I've found for what I'd like. To make my iPad stand out and keep it slim, I use a slick wraps skin on it. It's just a red skin. I think it looks really good and contrasts nicely with the blue smart cover case. The home screen on my iPad is actually very close to stock. There's just two main folders and then two main apps that are different. I use the YouTube app, which you guys all know, just to consume content. And then Notability, which you may have heard of, it's just a note-taking app. It's what I use in class and it works great. It integrates with the Apple Pencil, which is why I upgraded to the iPad Pro. I had the Air 2, but I never really found a stylus that I loved with it. And when the Pro line came out, I knew that the Apple Pencil was the solution to all my problems. It's $99, so it's kind of expensive, but really nothing comes close to it and I recommend it. Keeping everything organized in Notability is super easy. You can just add as many folders as you want. I have one set up for all of my classes, for notes, and for homework. It's so much more organized than using a regular notebook. And additionally, I can pull up any of these notes on my smartphone. It syncs with iCloud, or you can sync with Dropbox or Google Drive or any of those other services and just have your notes anywhere when you need them, which is great. Just like you're writing in a real notebook, you have the option to change your pen thickness, your pen color, you can highlight, erase, but what's really cool is you can actually cut and copy and resize things. So you wanna move things from one note to another. It's super easy to do, and it's something you can't really do in a real notebook without literally cutting and pasting. As I mentioned, I use the Apple Pencil in Notability. It's super easy to use. There's pressure sensitivity, palm rejection. You can change colors. It's just a great experience. And the Apple Pencil is kind of slippery once you write for a long time because your hand gets a little bit sweaty. So I fix that by putting a slick up skin on mine. It looks like a pencil, which I think is kind of funny. And then it also solves the problem, so that's a plus. We get the Microsoft Office Suite for free through school, but more often than not, I'm actually within Google Apps using Sheets, Docs, Slides, and Drive, just because everything syncs so nicely. It's available anywhere that I have internet connection, and it ties in nicely with Google Classroom, which a lot of my teachers have adopted recently. My second page of apps has a ton of apps, though I don't use many of them very often. I have the LifeX app, which I use to control the lights in my room. But I have this really cool app called ScanBot, which is probably the most used on this page. And what ScanBot allows me to do is take worksheets or other handouts from teachers, quickly scan them, upload them to any service, whether it be Drive, but more often than not, I upload them straight into Notability. And I can take notes straight on those worksheets and have them saved as a PDF. A problem I've run into with school is textbooks. They are heavy, they're expensive, no one wants to lug them around everywhere with them. But with the iPad, I actually use iBooks. I have all the ebook versions of my textbooks and other novels that we're currently reading. I can just pop in, look at it, and do my homework straight from there. Or I can even annotate straight into that. It's just seamless, easy, doesn't weigh anything at all other than just the weight of the iPad, which I'm carrying with me, and it really slims down my backpack. All right, that wraps up this video, guys. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. It helps out a lot more than you think. Leave a comment down below if you want to see a follow-up to this video, a what's on my phone type thing. I know those are popular. And subscribe for more content like this. Peace.